Healthy. I'm Claire. I'm Laura. What, what's this podcast about? Right, this podcast is about, there's a load of noise being made about a supplement called L-Arginine. What is all the fuss about? Well, exactly, what is all the fuss about? So we thought that we would come in and we would do the usual consciously healthy um, thing of giving you our opinions and um, our experiences. experiences. Yeah, go. Oh, okay. Ooh. Science okay. bit. Science bit. So... In 1998, three Nobel, three scientists, I'll start that again. In 1998, three <laughs> scientists won the Nobel Prize for their discovery that nitric oxide has a very key role in cardiovascular disease, or to be more specific, in uh, fixing, dealing with, reversing cardiovascular disease. And they won the Nobel Prize, and um, when they were actually being awarded the Nobel panel, they, they called nitric oxide the miracle molecule. And the reason for that is it plays a really, really important part in the human body. The nitric oxide, actually, um, we know it works medically. It's in angina sprays. You know, the medical profession are using nitric oxide, but they tend to use it in gas form, which means that when we have it in gas form, it only lasts about 30 seconds in the body. It's not enough to start to reverse the position of, of disease. It's actually, it's just a get us out of jail quick card. It's not going to work towards full wellness. So, obviously after this massive discovery, scientists, pharmaceutical companies, everyone started going crazy in the hubbub to try and create the perfect nitric oxide supplement or medication. And what was discovered is that if you take L-arginine, which is a, it's one of the amino acids that makes up proteins, uh, L-arginine and another amino acid, L-citrulline, and you combine them in the human body what happens is a chemical reaction. They become the precursor to the body making its own nitric oxide. Now, as nutritionists, we quite like the body making its own thing. Like rather than coming in with a clodopping amount of nitric oxide, actually the body making its own, there's something really synergistic about that. And when it makes the nitric oxide, magical things start to happen in the body. Do you want to take over? Yes. I Next do. chapter. Oh yes, I do. So nitric oxide is a dilator in the body, it's a vasodilator, which means that it essentially is relaxing muscles. And so it's, it's, it's opening up blood, blood vessels, vessels, which is ideal for things like uh, blood pressure, cholesterol, a lot of the, the things that you would initially think of when you think of a vasodilator. But this also has a knock-on effect to other systems in the body. So it helps the liver detox better, it's also there is a connection between the circulation and the heart and the sex organs. So we have noticed when we started using L-arginine um, and L-citrulline in our clinics that we're starting to see an improvement in sex drive, which is an interesting So we're one. seeing improvements in libido. Mm -hmm. Husband's quite happy. <laughs> uh, we're, oh my God. <laughs> well, I, we said clinic. Husbands, <laughs> random Husbands. generals, are quite happy. Um, and, but not just libido, is it? Also, for men, a massive sort of change in sexual in stamina. The sexual stamina. Sexual stamina. Because actually, you know, Viagra, the little blue pill, that is also a vasodilator. Yeah. So we've seen success with sex drive, which is wonderful. And we've also seen some interesting knock-on effects to things like the digestion because I mean this is our speciality area and when we first found out about L-arginine we were interested from it from a perspective of blood pressure and cholesterol mm -hmm. and all of the heart conditions but then we started testing it in our clinic and finding that for conditions like IBS irritable bowel syndrome which is one of our passion areas um, we were starting to get some interesting results because it's it's designed to relax blood vessels and muscle and the, the bowel was starting to relax and to be able to, especially with the cramping, with um, irritable bowel cramping, there seems to be a real release with using this kind of supplement, so we're quite mm. excited. Although, in fairness, we have discovered that some people get worse with their IBS before they get better. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that is definitely worth noting and I'm interested in why that is happening it's usually for about a week. I don't know if it's the, if it's the bowel or the body is trying to adjust to 
um, the, the allergenine trying mm. to make it relax. Well, the thing is, because in any kind of IBS, there's a spasm. Everything's just a bit spasmed. And so essentially when you add in arginine and it's going to be relaxing, with IBS, any change in the bowel is painful. Yeah. And so there needs to go through this kind of relaxing until it normalizes. And so, yeah, blood pressure. So going back, there are kind of some key areas in terms of people who could really benefit from the supplement and that is uh, people with cardiovascular disease so high blood pressure um, stents and anything going on with uh, cardiovascular disease then you've got people with metabolic syndrome so by metabolic syndrome we're talking about obesity we're talking diabetes we're talking high cholesterol high triglycerides anything like that whatsoever um, then we've now got the IBS route uh, which we're really passionate about Another really interesting thing is a very dear friend of ours is going through um, cancer at the moment and she has opted to go down the route of some chemotherapy and the doctors, her oncologist is thrilled that she has access to L-arginine because of the heart protection and provided it's not on chemo days and this is a story that we've started to hear quite a lot is that mm. on specific chemo drugs L-arginine is actually often recommended. So really getting, you know, it's worth speaking to doctors about if you are on that pathway. And then the other people who really benefit from L-arginine are high level sports professionals. Because we know that the more intensely you work out, actually what happens is arteries start to harden, we get free radical damage. And so the L-arginine is going to be starting to reverse that because it's also a muscle relaxant, things like the muscular, um, the delayed onset muscular soreness stops happening. And so actually people in the peak of their physical condition who are actually looking to improve their fitness also really benefit. There's a really good point is that if you're gonna explore this kind of supplement and you, cause you, essentially you're encouraging the body to relax and open and to take more in. So it is important to take it with a healthy diet to make sure yes. that you're putting the good stuff in. Yes. So that the body is able to absorb that better. Um, so there's there's really no point in drinking a lot of rubbish or eating a lot of rubbish and doing this. You want to make sure that the good stuff's going in as well. Yeah, that is a good point. Although I would still say better to take a first step than not to take a step at all. Yeah, that's a fair point. The other thing I wanted to mention is I loved what you were saying about metabolic conditions, particularly with things like um, imbalanced blood sugars because there a lot of people who have those issues have a lot of sweet cravings and we've managed to find a supplement that is quite sweet tasting it's it's mixed with stevia which is does not spike blood sugars so it can actually be used as something that stabilizes blood sugars but also stops the sweet cravings which i really like well you you and my husband both use it as pudding yeah oh does he yeah, it's three o'clock in the night, three o'clock in the afternoon, slump stops and reaches yeah. chocolate. Yeah, it's, it does. It knocks the sweet cravings on the head. So, yeah, we, we're really enamoured, actually, with a good, good LRG. Well, we're playing with it. We're having good results. We're having surprising results with conditions that we didn't think that... Oh, no, not that result. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not that result. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're having a good time with it. And... In terms of next steps, if this is something that you want to explore, I mean, we contact us. We've got links and bits and pieces on our website. So mm. yeah, come and come and contact us mm. if you want some recommendations. Yeah, absolutely. And if you are looking um, at down the route, I would definitely be saying you want to be going for one of the supplements that are recommended in physicians' desk references. Um, I think they only do that in the US, but definitely one that's got patents. It, you know, a highly clinical trial because there's a lot on the market. Like I said, after 1998, that was kind of a bit of a scrummage, but you want to make sure that you're getting the best quality. Fab, I think that's it, isn't it? That's it for LRG. Uh, <laughs> Lovely. Lovely to catch Subscri up with you again. Subscribe here and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.